Amy is in to talk about her spread from this week's issue of Women's Day. It's all about foundation. Amy, good morning. Good morning, Mel. So many foundations that you brought in today. It gets a little bit confusing. It does. But you can talk me through them, can't you? Definitely. Let's start with this one. What is this one all about? So this is a cushion foundation, and they are the hot new trend in foundations. Okay, I can't even figure out how to use it. What do you do? So basically, they're a little bit like a BB cream. They're for women who don't want to wear a lot of makeup, but they want a nice sheer finish with an SPF, and you just... Okay, oh, okay, you just push that down yep, there. You okay, pop got the it. sponge on the applicator. Yep. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Yep. Yeah, and it comes just, through. Yeah, it comes through, and then you just add that on your face for a nice lightweight sheer coverage. Okay, that sounds like a bit of me, actually. I like lightweight and sheer. What about this one here? Okay, illuminating foundations. We love these because they've got sheer luminescent particles in them that give us a little bit of a glow. So this is good if your skin's feeling a bit tired? Definitely. And... Winter, dull, you want to brighten it up, that's the perfect one to use. Should you look at changing your foundations from sort of winter to summer? Yes, definitely, because we do get a little bit darker in summer, even though we must wear our sunscreen, so you mm. can get another shade darker if you like. What about this one here? Okay, HD foundations are for people that like to take selfies okay. and like to appear in a lot of photos. So they're great for big events and that kind of thing when you want to look airbrushed and glam. Okay, so there's some pictures there on scene, so it smooths everything out. Exactly right. That sounds good looks to like me. Looks like skin, but in high depth. It looks like skin, but much better skin. Exactly. Now tell me about this one here. I struggled to even figure out how to get the lid off before, but I worked it out. Okay, yeah. so long wear foundations are great for brides. If you've got a big event, I like to wear them to work because I've got no time to touch up. So you pop that on and it's not going to budge all okay. day. I like the way it's got the, um, everything seems to have these sort of applicators these days. Exactly. Sort of spongy we're, applicator. We're all in a rush and we like ease of application, so pop it on and blend it in. They set pretty quickly long wear foundations, so you want to work quick. Okay, so otherwise you're going to get, what, a streaky face? Yeah. Is this good for all sorts of skin types? Yep, definitely. If you are looking for something that's not going to move, what about applying all the foundations? We've got the, the sort of things that come with it, the little applicators, yep. but is there any applicating, or applicating, is that even a word? Any tips that you can give us about applying Well, it? I guess it's really very much personal preference, but you can um, use a brush like this. Um, lots of makeup artists use a synthetic bristle brush. It'll give you a really nice effect, and just like a makeup artist has done your makeup. So why the flat end? Is that a good thing? It helps you to buff the product in, and it gives you a really nice, very natural look. Okay, that's definitely what I need. Natural is what it's all about, isn't it? We don't want that really caked on. Look. No way. We want to look like skin, your skin, but better. Okay, so that's a blending brush. And my final question to you is that I've heard a lot of things about this. Do you think that primer is an essential or is it something that you can miss in your beauty steps? Uh, personally, for me, I think primers are absolutely essential. They do a few things. Mainly, um, if you put them on after your moisturiser and you apply your foundation on, that will last the distance. It'll make your foundation look beautiful and give you a nice clear canvas for that base. And it just smooths out everything as well? Exactly. It's going to go, it's going to last you all day. So we'll give it a flawless finish. Definitely. And you like this one? I love it. Um, that's an illuminating primer as well, so that'll give you another nice subtle glow. Too. Okay. I am all about the glows. The glow in winter is what we definitely, definitely need, isn't it? Definitely, we do. Hey, fantastic. Well, that's very exciting. I love playing with makeup. It's something in me. Just, it's, and you're, you're such a fountain of all knowledge. So it's always <laughs> so much fun to have you in here, Amy. Thank you so much. Thank you, Elle. It is a pleasure. And uh, if you would like to have a look, you can look in this week's Woman's Day, of course. You can buy that at home and check it out.